हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू मैक्नोटेक यूट्यूब चैनल एंड दिस इज अ सेकंड पार्ट फॉर द वाइब्रेशन एंड टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस ऑन टर्मिनोलॉजी एंड बेसिक कॉन्सेप्ट ऑफ वाइब्रेशन इन विच फर्स्ट वन इज द सिंपल हार्मोनिक मोशन ओके सो मोस्ट ऑफ द वाइब्रेटिंग सिस्टम वर्क्स ऑन द सिंपल हार्मोनिक मोशन ओके सो इट इज नेसेसरी टू अंडरस्टैंड दिस टर्म ओके नाउ फ्रॉम दिस फिगर you can see this is a point p which moving around a circle with uniform angular velocity omega right so we can say here point p at particular time t okay and having angle theta is equal to omega t right and this is the graph for this simple harmonic motion here x is the maximum amplitude by uh, getting by this point p okay so we can say small x is the displacement of point from the mean position after time t so this is a small x okay here and this is a capital x that is the maximum displacement of point from the mean position so we can say this small x this distance small x is equal to x capital x sin theta and what is theta it is omega t okay so we can say displacement of a point from mean position small x is equal to capital x sin omega t okay by this figure we can write this now if we derive this equation then we get the velocity that is dx by dt okay velocity of point after time t so dx by dt is equal to the derivation of this is omega x cos omega t right then again if we derive it, uh, deri uh, derive it again then we got the acceleration so d square x upon dt square is equal to minus omega square x sin omega t and x sin omega t is equal to it is small x okay so here this is a small x right so minus omega square x so we can say that whose acceleration is proportional to the displacement whose acceleration is proportional to the displacement from mean position and it directs towards the mean position is called the simple harmonic motion so this is a basic thing about the simple harmonic motion now next is time period tp so what is the meaning of time period tp so it's a time taken by the motion to repeat itself suppose here there is a pendulum okay and if this pendulum complete like this okay so this is a oscillation by this pendulum and when it complete one cycle like this then we can say it is a time period it's time required to complete one cycle and the equation of tp is 2 pi upon omega right now next is the frequency so what is frequency a number of cycle per unit time is known as a frequency so it is almost opposite to the time period so we can say frequency f is equal to 1 upon tp so 1 upon 2 pi upon w so finally we can write omega upon 2 pi so f is equal to omega upon 2 pi and it is denoted by hertz right h z now amplitude x so you have already seen the amplitude x okay and it is the maximum displacement of vibrating body from mean position okay so this is a mean position and the maximum oscillate oscillation of this vibrating body that is called the x displacement right then stiffness uh, sorry it amplitude and next is stiffness of the spring k so stiffness is equal to we can say it is force divided by the deflection okay so here it is the ratio of force to the deflection and unit of k that is newton per meter okay so you you should uh, remarkable these things that is newton per meter 
stiffness k and it is very important term in vibration right now next is degree of freedom so what is the degree of freedom that is the minimum number of independent coordinate required to specify the motion or configuration of any system like this is a system okay so how many independent coordinator use for configuration of this system so here you can say there is only one only one independent coordinate x1 required to specify the configuration of this total system so it is called the single degree freedom or we can say one degree freedom right then here you can say x1 and x2 two independent coordinator required x1 and x2 to specify the configuration of this system so it is called the two degree of freedom and same way here x1 x2 and x3 total three coordinate required to specify the configuration so it is called the three degree of freedom okay so this is a basic thing about the degree of freedom now next is damping what is damping so it is the resistance to the motion of vibrating body suppose there is a body which is vibrate and we apply the resistance okay on that body then it is called the damping which cause vibrating body to come to the rest or equilibrium position so after giving the damping we can uh, we can uh, you know uh, we can make that body in a rest condition rest position okay or we can say equilibrium position now damping coefficient c so damping coefficient c is equal to f upon v now what is f it is the damping force f is the damping force or we can say it is a resistance force developed per unit velocity so force in newton and velocity is meter per second so damping coefficient c having a unit is newton into second per meter okay so damping coefficient c newton into second per meter okay now resonance so before understand the resonance you should know the natural frequency now what is the natural frequency if there is a mass okay all body have some mass okay and elasticity so mass vibrate in absence of external excitation so if there is a mass which is vibrate in the absence of external force is called the natural frequency without external force if the body vibrate then it is called the natural frequency now come to the resonance so when the external external excitation force or we can say external force acting on the body is equal to the natural frequency okay when you apply the external force and it becomes the equal to the natural frequency of vibrating body the body start vibrating excessively okay so let me give you one example suppose there is a bridge okay and bridge vibrate due to the load okay vehicle load and you at that at that time at the same time wind is also there and the frequency of that wind match with the vibration of bridge because of the load then it become excessively vibration produced over there okay so large amplitude over there and such state is known as a resonance i hope you understand fir se main aapko bata do ki jab koi bridge hai wo vibrate ho raha hai because of certain load vehicle load aur usi time pe विंड भी वहाँ पे है ओके सो विंड का जो वाइब्रेशन है विंड का जो फ्रीक्वेंसी है वो अगर ब्रिज के वाइब्रेशन की फ्रीक्वेंसी से मैच हो जाता है तब वहाँ पे ब्रिज पे वाइब्रेशन बहुत बढ़ जाता है ओके सो इट विल हैव अ लार्ज एम्पलीट्यूड एंड सच स्टेट इज नोन एज अ रिजोनस ओके सो दीज आर द बेजिक थिंग्स अबाउट द वाइब्रेटिंग सिस्टम ओके वाइब्रेशन okay so next time we will see the types of vibration so thank you jai hind jai bharat if you like this video then please press the like button share this video to your friends and don't forget to subscribe thank you